Hello, my name is Andre Robles here at Choice Lithographics, and in this video we're going to show how to set up folding panel widths. For example, this is an accordion fold where the panels are all equal size. As it folds like an accordion, you don't have to compensate for any folds. The next example is a double parallel fold where the front and back cover are the same size. The next panel, panel 3, needs to be a sixteenth smaller than panel 2. Panel 4 needs to be a sixteenth smaller than panel 3. For the backup, the inside front and back cover flop over to the left side. Remember to flop your marks with your layout as well. This is very important. Next up is a quarter fold. This is a vertical fold where panels 1 and 4 will fold on the back side of panel 2 and 3 and fold down again. Panels 2 and 3 both need to be 7 16th of an inch. By making this side shorter, you'll have a nice flush finish. The next example is a roll fold with 1 16th compensation for book stock and 1 8th compensation for thicker cover stock. In panels 1 and 2, the front and back cover will be the same size. Next panel 3 would be 1 16th shorter than panel 2 and so on with subsequent panels. Adding these numbers comes to a total of 20 and 7 eighths. With your document set up, you'll enter two pages, front and back. Your trim size has a width of 20.85, which is 20 and 7 eighths, by 8 and a half inches high. And bleeds are a quarter for top, bottom, left, and right. By having the bleeds a quarter, your bleed, crop marks, and fold marks will show. This is what your layout will look like. Panels 1 and 2 on the front cover and back cover are the same size, 4 and a quarter. Panel 3 is 1 16th shorter than panel 2 and so forth on the back side of the pages flop. That's how you set up folding panel widths. Thank you very much.